and searching for a couple words to get grow wings and fly like birds. Of course, I know it sounds absurd, but when you're in love, hey, go. go pick a card and sit with who your cards are. So, who's the queens? Me. There we go. <laughs> of course, we Of course, we the queen. Okay. So, um, glad you guys are here. Let's look at, let's figure out who's got what. So like, let's, where are the fives at? Fives. So we've got three people, that's, that's a good group. You guys didn't rig it, are you? You got all the friends together. You, got, you guys, did you guys rig this? Did everybody actually draw a card? It's pretty good, it's pretty good groups. I like these groups. Who are the tens? Tens are back here. CJ knows the ten. You guys all tens? I'm ten. Tens, where's the jacks? There's only oh. two tens in a dude. We only got one jack? You're okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put her with somebody else. Okay, so we'll take care of You guys didn't draw? Oh, you snuck in. Tell me you're a jack. Uh oh, ten. Ten. Look out, right where you are. Golly. Okay. Well, I need I need somebody else to jump to Jack. So we'll figure out who's the biggest group. Are you guys all tens? No, it's a five. Now it's a five. So five, so you're with them. So let's, let's sit with your group. So fives, tens. I mean like who's the who's the jack? We got a jack, who's the queen? Queens, who's the kings? Who's the aces? Okay, so let's say um Kyle, why don't you go over here and get a jack? Trade you out. Good, so this will make more sense later. We're gonna actually be doing something significantly more fun today than yesterday. Yesterday you had to listen to me talk the entire time. And today we're going to try to do something fun. I went down to the math department and stole six iPads, and we're going to use them. Do you guys get to play those iPads in there or no? No. Yeah. No. 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 Do you have that? Do you have Crawley? Do you have that class? No. Yeah. Do you just don't use them? No. Well, we're using them. We're using them in here. He said I could have them for 45 minutes, and we're going to use them. So we're using them today. So get get excited about that. Um, yes, I love the excitement. I love the excitement. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking for a minute. Let's do this bell work stuff. Let's knock out the vocab. Let's get to work on that if we can. So we did the first column. We did the second column. Let's do that third group. And let's, uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of time to work on that, OK? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did anybody else need a book? Can we work hard? Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's these on this one. We did these, mm -hmm. and then we did these and we did these. Let's do like 45 more seconds on this. I don't want to take too much time on the book. I just want to give you guys a shot uh, so that you're not slaving over it tonight instead of doing much more exciting things. Hey. I got that test. You feel all right? I got to have to draw a card. Where are the kings at? Who's the king? Is it Good, so let's put the vocab away. That's good. Or no, no, don't put it away. I told you I told you wrong. I did the same thing yesterday. Keep your vocab out. Let's go over it real quick. I told you wrong again. Let's talk about these, uh, these four words that we did last night. And then tomorrow, we'll look at the third column. Okay, so let's look at these. Let's look at these real quick. You guys remember yesterday we did the, uh, I told you the book definition, and then I gave you like the, the dictionary definition, just so we have two. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't necessarily uh, want you to just regurgitate the book definition. Don't feel like I've got to memorize the book definition. I just want you guys to understand what the word is. So if you give me um, your definition or something that sounds more like the dictionary or something like that on the test, that's A-OK. -okay. That's fine. Don't, don't feel like you have to memorize the book glossary. It's not. You know, it's not the only book. So let's look at math production. This is kind of what I pulled out of the book. Systems for turning out large numbers of products quickly and inexpensively. These systems depended upon machinery to carry out tasks that were once done with hand tools. And then uh, what did you, you guys get from math production? Someone tell me what you got from math production, anybody? Anybody? Don't be nervous. OK, Leah, what did you get from math production? Production of large numbers for the use of machinery and that's pretty good. Is that pretty much everybody else has? Is that? Okay. Um, dictionary says the production of large quantities of a product by an automated mechanical process. So I think you guys understand mass production. It's machines cranking out a lot of stuff. Something like that. Um, next word, corporation. Uh, book says the number of people sharing the ownership of a business. Is that, is that kind of what you have? Somebody, somebody have a, a different variation of that right here? 
Um, a company recognized as a legal unit that has the rights and liabilities separate from each of each or its members. Yeah. Does everybody else have a similar something to that? Is that what it's okay. its members, sorry. Okay. And then lastly, the last vocab word of the day, I wish I could share with you the responses I got for this on the pretest. You guys, it's so funny. You guys are so funny. I'll put a board game. I know you, oh my gosh, I got a lot of that. A lot of that. The little short guy with the mustache. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the book says complete control of a product or service. Do you guys have that? Or some, does somebody have something different that they want to share? Is that what we have? Somebody besides Leah. Does somebody have anything, anything different? Someone, someone hasn't answered one. Someone hasn't answered one. All right. Exclusive control by one company over an entire industry. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, dictionary said exclusive possession or control of the supplier trade of a commodity or service. That's pretty good. Um, okay, stand by for fancy graphics. Okay, we did this yesterday. Uh, fancy graphics. Stand by. Everybody brace yourself. I'll get out of the way. Fancy graphics. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Okay. I don't want to see this on a test. I don't want to see a board game, anything like that on a test. It's, uh, it's control over something. It's control over the whole market. Okay. I've officially talked enough. Let's shut the books. Let's, let's shut the books. Put vocab away. Um, I want to explain to you guys what we'll be doing today because I'm pretty excited about it. Today, I told you I have the iPads, which I'm, which I'm excited about just because I'm a nerd and that's cool. Uh, we have the iPads, but what we're going to be doing is we, um, we know that uh, we've been studying. We talked about on, on day one, it's day three right now, it's day three, but on day one we talked about years and stuff that happened before this time period. Yesterday we talked about the causes and what brought about this time period. Today I want to talk about the people that were during this time period and what they invented. Okay? This time period that goes between 1865 and 1914, remember those dates, 1865, 1914, one more time, 1865, 1914, this time period that we're in um, is full of people who invented incredible things, the things that we use every day. And, um, I want you guys to look at those people today. I asked you a question on the test just kind of as an opinion. Do you think it's more important that we study people, or do you think it's more important that we study what they invented or what they accomplished? And I, was, I was just curious what you guys thought, because um, I was going to go one way or the other today. But it was pretty balanced. Some of you said people, some of you said inventions. So I was going to have you split into groups and pick an invention that was invented and tell me about it. But since some of you guys thought people was more important, you guys can decide in your groups. I'm going to give you a list of people and a list of what they invented and what other people invented and stuff like that. I'm going to have you pick one and you guys can write over whatever you want. What we're going to be doing is I'll give you the <coughs> iPads so you can go out to this list and then I went out, Laura and I went out to Walgreens last night because we love you and we bought a bunch of posters and I'm going to have you guys make little posters, little poster boards. Uh, real quick, it'll be in class, so like pick somebody who has cute handwriting and give them five minutes and I want you to make a little poster over either your invention or the guy, okay? So you'll have the iPad, you can go out to any resource you want, even Wikipedia. I don't care, I don't care where you go because we're doing it fast. <laughs> I know Stroud's, <laughs> what? let's get a reaction, reaction shot from Stroud real quick. Wait for it, Matt's got it. Okay, good, so even Wikipedia, okay? And the only reason I say that is because it's, it's crazy, I'm sorry, but we're, we're gonna be moving fast and I want you to be able to find information quick. I'm going to put up here kind of a list of stuff that we're looking to see from your poster, but you can put on it whatever you want. So in your group, you'll look up the guy on the iPad, or look up the invention on the iPad, or look up the girl, whatever. Make the poster, and then I'm going to pull each group up here, and you're going to do 60 seconds. you got to tell us in 60 seconds. We'll like start a stopwatch. And you got to say in 60 seconds, you got to teach us either your guy or what he invented and why you think it's important, stuff like that. So in 60 seconds, your group will come up and just just fly through the information. And that way, at the end of the period, we'll have a look at six either inventions or six people or a mix of the two that was important during this time period because that's our goal for today, okay? Is everybody cool with that? Awesome. Cool. So isolate yourselves and visually make it apparent which group you're in. Like if you want to huddle together or something like that, like spread your desks in a way that I can see what group you're in. Cool. It looks like we can see the groups pretty clearly now. Good. Okay, so um, real quick, make eye contact in your group and decide rock, paper, scissors, draw straws, whatever you need to do. Figure out who in your group you feel like has decent artistic skills. Decent. Somebody who's going to make the poster look good. Like, I would not be a good candidate for this, okay? Like, someone who, someone who can make stuff look decent, okay? 
Now in your group, now that that person is identified, I want you to have clear roles. So now that that person has identified, I want you to identify the person who's going to be the iPad user. Who seems to be on their phone all the time? Who's really good with electronics? Like we've got a pretty clear, pretty clear definition of that right here. So, so designate that person. So you've got, you've got the, you've got the artist. And then you've got the researcher. And then the people that are left, you guys need to bring them together. You guys need to be the leaders and keep your group focused. Because we're in a real tight time crunch. So we'll have a certain amount of time we can do this, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hand out the iPads. Stay with me. I'm going to hand out the iPads. I'm going to hand out the posters. You guys know there's markers in the back. You can get markers in a minute. Let me get this stuff passed out, and then, and then we'll move on, okay? So give me just a second. Okay. So we got iPads. Send your uh, send your artist up here to grab a poster, real quick. Who's your artist? <laughs> and choose your paint palette. What color do you want? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. The the website is a really long address. So what I'd rather you do. I put a little I put a little shortcut up um, somewhere that you know how to spell the name. If you can spell my name, go to there.com. That's weird, but go to CameronMcGee.com, and there's a big, beautiful link at the top that shows that I love you guys, and I put the link right there for you. If you can go to CameronMcGee.com, the link is right there. You don't have to type in any long, crazy link. Just go there. Find that link, okay? Your screen should look, you want to see something like this. If your screen looks like something different, you're probably in the wrong place. Right up top, industrialization activity, okay? We're looking for this right here, okay? Cool? When you go there, there's a, there's a big orange link. Click on that orange link, and you're, and you're done with my little site, and you're on to the next one, okay? Huh? Yeah, that, you, don't need, you don't need that ugly guy on the right. Just look at, look at this link right here, okay? <laughs> You need that link. That's what you need. If you go to that link, who's got the link? Let me see a show of hands if you got the link. You got the link. You got the link. You got the link. We're still waiting on a couple people to get the link. Yes, hold on. Just a second. Let me make sure everybody's there. Cool. So, who's got the link? Who's got the link? Who's up? Who's up on the other side? We're done with my face. We're on the other side now, right? We've got... You got ten minutes till you present. So in ten minutes we're presenting. So I already start making it pretty. So real quick, let me get let me get real quiet and look up here one more time. I want to make sure we're clear on this. Real quiet. Everybody up here, real quick. CJ's group, right here. Everybody here? Everybody good? Yes, sir. Here's what we're looking for. This is what we want to see on the poster, okay? If you're if you're gonna pick an invention right here, if you're gonna pick a person right here. You can put other stuff on the poster. But these are the six things when you're up here presenting. I'm gonna go. Yep. 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 A. Okay. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these six things. So make sure you get these six on your poster. Make it look pretty. We're presenting in nine minutes. So I'll I'll be quiet. Now. Hit it. What are you guys in the heat and lie detector? Just get that at the top of that poster real big and huge lie detector. That's a good start. Let's get a quick shout out of what each group is doing. I want to make sure we're not having any overlap. Uh, let's go Let's go from here over. We'll start this group. Loud and proud, what's your thing? Barbed wire. We got barbed wire right here. What's you guys' thing? Not sure yet? You guys, you guys not sure yet? They're still working on it. What are you guys doing? Telephone. Telephone. That's fantastic. Right here. Automobile. That's great. You guys? Lie detector in this group? A guy. Good. They're doing the guy who invented the zipper. I like it. That's a heck of an invention. Okay? I like it. So remember the time period we're looking for is 1865 to 1945. 14. Make sure you're in there.